Alrighty, so part three. Sorry these are so long. I, I just wanted to give my honest reviews, you guys, so you have no bias of anything. Okay, not gonna lie. The basil. That's a little biased. A little bit. Just a little bit. And maybe even the, uh, the walnut scrubbers. I was a little biased. I was, I was really looking forward to those. Okay, so I wanted to smell the geranium scent in front of you guys. Because if it's gross, I didn't want you guys to be like, Oh, it's a flower! I'll buy it! Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh my gosh. Okay, buy it. Just... Buy it! Oh. Okay, even if you just buy the lotion... Cause seriously, oh man. Okay, I'm gonna use both of those so much. <sighs> okay, gotta move on. Gotta move on. Gotta keep this, keep this going. Cause I am so sorry for all this time that I'm taking up. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. You know what? We're just gonna go ahead and smell everything. I don't care anymore. I did get um, limited edition scents. I am sorry if you are not able to get them. Um, so do not, do not hate me. I tried to get them because the, I was hyped up on cleaning videos. Don't binge and, and, and sit here and watch a bunch of cleaning videos because you will get addicted. Um, but I got every scent of limited edition cleaners. Moving on! So, I have the peony scent, the lilac scent, and the mint scent. I personally, um, I hate mint. I hate the smell of mint. I hate the taste. I hate everything about mint. But, for this video, and because, again, I was hyped up, I bought mints. I bought mint. So, Peony, okay, is definitely one of the ones that I wanted to make sure because it is a limited edition scent. Um, I wanted to make sure that I got everything just to make sure the consistency in not only the scent but the cleaning process, I guess, if there were any after scents, if there were any. Um, like sticky residue kind of things um but this is the hand soap and it's made with olive oil and uh aloe and again not tested on animals um has the made withouts awesome made withs everything's in plain english not in that scientific gibberish crap that nobody wants to sit there and read um, all of these bottles actually are from recycled plastics, so they are making a difference in their packaging as well. I don't know if that's a big deal to you guys, but it is to me. Um, the hand soaps all are 12.5 ounces, so I'm going to go ahead and smell the peony. Okay, yep. That's nice. Oh, I hope, I hope that the cleaning products are like that. Again, not too harsh. Okay, as someone that doesn't like mint, you have to understand. Please don't hate me. Please don't hate me. It's just not my scent. Um, having said that, it's nice. It is. Um, it's just not for me. So when I use it up, I'm not going to get it again. I will use it. It is a nice, um, soft mint. It's not a very powerful mint. Um, but you can tell that you're going to smell it, um, after you clean. And these are the hand soaps, so you can tell that you're going to smell it on your hands for a bit. This is the lilac. I'm going to go ahead and smell that real quick. Oh, that one's nice and powerful. Okay. 
Now I say nice and powerful because this one, I was expecting to be soft like the, uh, the soy candle, but it's very potent. There we go. That's a good word to use. Potent. Um, oh my God, I've got so much stuff. Oh, my leg fell asleep. Okay. So. God, I'm sorry. I can't sit here and just one by one. We're gonna drop stuff. Okay. Oh, that was one of my laundry detergents. Okay, I got three of the four times concentrated laundry detergents in ginger mango. One of them just fell. But I really was excited about this because not only is it concentrated, but it's ginger mango. So I want to smell this because this was the only scented. I think it was the only scented laundry detergent. Um, this is 8.1 ounces. So I'm going to have to look at how much to use. Because I'm used to either chucking in a Tide Pod or using like the liquid stuff that isn't concentrate. I've never used concentrate for laundry. All right, to wash, use measurement marks on side of bottle. Each mark is enough for one medium load. Give the bottle a squeeze. Pour detergent into the tray, directly into machine. Uh, follow care label instructions. To pre-treat, oh, it's also a pre-treat, that's cool. Rub a little detergent on the stain itself. Wait five minutes, wash as usual. Test on an inside seam for inconspicuous area of color fastness. It has what's in the bottle. Cool. Recycled bottle. Awesome. Hmm. Alright, and this is... Um, 10 loads, it says on the front right here. I should have read that, I guess. My bad. 10 loads. Okay, right here on the side, it has these markings with numbers that um, I guess show exactly how many loads to stop at. Okay, this is going to be difficult. <sighs> Oh, these first impressions, though. But I won't do for you, too. Don't try this at home. I'm just going to open it that much. Okay, smells great. Moving on. Wasting your time. I am sorry. Again, packaging. Okay. Lilac scent, multi-surface. Again, lilac is limited edition. I also have it in mint and in peony. Okay. Just going to keep the lilac one. Same potency as the hand soap. So, good job. This was the, oh, what is this? Lemon Verbena Scent. Now, this one, I only got a couple of things. I know that. I only got a couple of things only because of, um, again, Love Meg. She, uh, she had it, and she raves about it, so I wanted to try it. I tried pretty much, pretty much everything. I think I got, like, one of each, except for... I, I think I only left out a couple of scents, um, but I did get complete sets of the limited edition ones. So everything that was limited edition, I got all the cleaners, and so I can try everything out. Um, 
16 ounces, multi-surface, everyday cleaner, removes dirt, freshens surfaces, again, cruelty-free. Cool. That one reminds me of something. What is that? I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Comment down below if you have a favorite uh, Mrs. Meyer scent that I haven't um, picked up, I guess. Because I, I really, really want to know if I've done everything that I should as far as different scents. Because you never know. I mean, if one works better than another, that would be great to have a heads up. Okay, and this is a basil scent. This is not, um, anything basil is not a limited edition. So, if you are one of those people that really likes basil scent or wants to try it, you can try it year-round. You don't have to have a certain time to try whatever um, in the basil. So I want to smell this one, see if it's as potent as the other. Alrighty. Just as potent, if not um, a little bit softer. So it's not going to be like... <laughs> I'm spraying this and I'm dying. All right, I'm gonna smell the mint and die. Again, same, same softness, just not my scent. And that was the multi surface. I'm just doing them. Um, all multi-surface and then I'm going to do the dish soaps and I have two room fresheners so I'm going to do the room fresheners last um, this is the peony this is the limited edition one okay if they still have it I'm telling you get it it is very very nice it does smell like spring I've heard um, a couple of people say that um, one youtuber specifically um, she said, it smells like spring, and I have to say, I do agree. I do. It smells like fresh flowers, not florally. It's not like that, uh, great. Now it smells like dookie and crappy flowers. No, it smells like fresh cut peonies. Okay, it smells like spring, legitimately. So, okay going to speed this long a little bit, taking up a lot of your time. I am sorry. This tape, okay, this tape is, is not working for me anymore. It was nice. It's a nice gesture, but it's annoying to have to take off every single thing. And seeing as how I got a lot of stuff, it's kind of annoying. It's fine. Like, I appreciate you taking care of my things until I break them. Because Lord knows I have children and he will absolutely make sure that they break it if I have it. But do you have to use so much? And does it have to be so strong? <gasps> it just ripped off hair! Ah, oh, that hurt. Okay, cool beans. Last piece of tape. Awesome. On the mint. Oh, I actually like that. And it's mint. Imagine that. It's not too strong. It does smell of mint. It's not powerful, like crazy. Um, that's a pretty easy nozzle to take up and down. It's not like you gotta smack it up to close it or pop a nail off to open it. That's pretty nice. 16 ounces in all of these um, dish soaps. These are for, like, hand dishes, so you know. That is the difference, okay, between the dish soaps um, and 
this dishwasher detergent gel. Okay. Oh, donuts. Okay. Speeding this along a little bit. Again, lilac, not too strong. Love it. Cool beans. Peony. Peony. For some reason, that smells like spring and Halloween. Is that possible? I'm weird. Don't judge me. You're not here to judge me, right? You're just watching me talk too much. All right. Wait. This is basil. Nice. Okay, so I really like all of my dish, dish soap scents. Um, yes, even the mint. I know. I Don't judge me. Anyways, okay, so I got two things left. I've got a lemon verbena scent room freshener and a geranium scent room freshener. I got these simply because I figured I was getting cleaners, I was getting dish soaps, I was getting laundry detergent and concentrate stuff and a candle and everything else and the kitchen sink. Might as well freshen up the room with God knows what. So... They do have a stopper right here so that they don't spray when they're being shipped, just like most other things. It smells like a doctor's office. Okay. That was weird. And lemon verbena. All right. Well, they all smell pretty nice. Um, I'm not going to go sticking my nose in some detergent gel or some bringing clear 7th generation stain remover. Okay, that's just... Ooh, that's a lot of sense. Ooh. Alrighty. Anyways... So, that was everything that I got. What I will say, there's a lot of tape. Okay. And those are two huge boxes. And I am pretty stocked. I think. For a while. Let's see, I've got four... Yeah, four dish soaps for my hand dishes, four multi-surface, five multi-surface sprays, two room freshener sprays, three method laundry detergent concentrates in ginger mango, because everybody needs some mango in their life, and especially if it comes in ginger. Alrighty. Gotta get the other one, too. Oh, my donuts. I forgot. That one fell. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my donuts. I didn't tape. This glass sprayer. I've got this lavender 35 hour burn soy candle. My wool dryer ball set. Two hand lotions. Three hand soaps. A three pack of Ziploc bags. Four walnut cellulose sponge sets in two packs. A two pack of microfiber towels and a kitchen towel. <sighs> a tough stain remover for laundry and a partridge in a pear tree. And I gotta say, 
I want more. Oh my gosh. They have started so I'm I might need to get another one of these candles though. I might get a different scent, but they're ten dollars, so I'm not really wanting to get one right now. But they are nice. I've got to smell it again, I'm sorry. That is definitely relaxing and it hasn't even been lit yet. Oh, it smells great. Alrighty. Well, that is all for my unboxing and my first impressions. I am so glad to see all of you guys commenting about your different scents and what all you think about Mrs. Myers and 7th Generation and Grove Collaborative and any other uh, affiliations that they have. Again, these are not sponsored. These are my honest opinions. I am so excited to share all of this with you. Thank you so much for everything that you guys have done. And hopefully, <laughs> we'll start cleaning. So, stay tuned. Subscribe. Do whatever you can, but get done.